Because y'all pay for tickets, Beyonce tickets, $1,000 tickets, y'all going to go meet Chris Brown for $1,000 something dollars. But when it comes to your friends and your family, you can't pay the ticket. Like these weddings ain't cheap. All right, guys, we gotta talk about this viral video that's currently circling the internet where this gentleman is asking social media if he's in the wrong for charging his wedding guests $450, okay, his family and friends to attend his wedding. That cost $200,000 to plan, okay? <laughs> Everyone that um, he invited to the wedding where he's trying to charge him $450, they're completely declining his offer, okay? They're saying, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm not attending this wedding, uh, especially in today's economy. It's a no-go, okay? So he's here running to social media, looking for answers, wondering if he's in the wrong for charging or attempting to charge his wedding guests $450. Take a look. All right, TikTok, tell me if I'm tripping or not. So me and my fiance, we are getting married, right? And to be a part of our wedding, you have to pay $450 for a ticket, and that's for each guest. So we invited friends and family to our wedding. Tell me why everybody that we invited has declined the invitation. We already have spent 100, maybe almost close to $200,000 on the wedding. Crazy. We have already pre-ordered the cake. We already put down the deposit for the venue. Um, we've already got the wedding dress, everything. We pay for everything for the wedding. DJ, photographer, everything for the wedding. And what I don't understand is, is that y'all spend 400 more money, more money on stupid stuff, but you can't come out to support your family and your friends at a wedding. That's nasty work right there. Like, how are you paying $200,000 for a wedding and feel comfortable doing that? <laughs> I'm just saying, right? The average cost for a wedding is about $30,000. So why is your wedding costing four, six times the amount of the average wedding? And I remember reading a stat somewhere where the more the wedding is, the more likely it is to fail. I'm just saying. And if I had to assume why that is, it's probably because of the financial burden going into the marriage. Maybe we should scale back on the cost and spend the money elsewhere, okay? Investing in properties, uh, buying our primary residence, okay? Uh, some sort of savings account or stocks and bonds, what have you, okay? Something that is going to generate a profit where, you know, finance might not be an issue for us down the line. Okay. I would feel more comfortable doing that versus spending $200,000, um, into a wedding. Plus you got to add the honeymoon and things. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, tell me if I'm wrong. Tell it like, is we wrong? We like, 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 let me know. Let me know because y'all pay for tickets. Beyonce tickets, $1,000 tickets, y'all going to go meet Chris Brown for $1,000 something dollars. But when it comes to your friends and your family, you can't pay the ticket. Like, these weddings ain't cheap. Like, we, like the weddings ain't cheap. Like, 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 what's going on? Like, I don't get it. Like, let us know are we wrong for charging for a wedding. Like, I really, really want to know. All right, guys, let me know what you think about that. Okay, is he in the wrong for asking his wedding guests for $450? to attend his wedding. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, because in my opinion, I think he's wrong. I really do. I, I think he's trying to recoup um, the expenses of the wedding. Okay, $200,000 is crazy. It's mind boggling. It really is. All right, guys, so let's check out some of these comments. First commenter says, Spunt told me all I needed to know. All right, so next commenter says, the answer is yes, you are wrong. That is all. All right, so next commenter says, if I spend $200,000 on my wedding, the flex is my guests didn't have to do nothing but show up. All right, so next commenter says, hell nah, I'm not finna go. I don't care how much money I have. All right, so next commenter says, gotta be trolling because ain't no way. All right, so next commenter says, my wedding was $2,500 total and we ended up in Ebony Magazine. A wedding costs however much you want it to cost. All right, so next commenter says, dead wrong. All right, guys, so there you have it, okay? So not only is the internet coming after him, it seems like his baby mom is also coming after him as well. Um, he has a daughter by another woman in a previous relationship, okay? Now, she's probably looking at all of the attention that he's getting from the initial post or the initial clip that I played for you guys. And she's probably saying, wait a minute, okay? <laughs> He's willing to spend $200,000 on another woman, but not me. 
Oh, hell nah, okay? <laughs> Our daughter will not be attending the wedding. All right, man, so I need y'all help, man. So as many as y'all know that I'm getting married, right? And I have a daughter. Man, tell me why my child's, my child's mother is not allowing her to be in a wedding. Like, I just don't understand that. And I asked her what was the reason behind, you know, my daughter not being able to come to the wedding, be in the wedding. She's like, oh, well, since it's not me, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that it's fair for our daughter to um, be able to experience that because we never got married and all of that. Like, what, y'all, I don't, I don't get it. My daughter is well taken care of. When she's around my fiance, she's the happiest. My daughter goes to private school. I pay hella money for tuition. My daughter is with me three times out of the week, three to four times out of the week, and sometimes on the weekend, every rotating you know, weekend. So my daughter, she's my everything, and I just can't believe that her mother is not allowing her to be in my wedding. Like, do y'all think it's wrong? Like, like, what can I do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just feel like this is so wrong, and this is a one-in-a-lifetime chance, and she's mad because she's not able to be in a wedding, and I'm not marrying her. Like, that's what I, I feel like, because there's just no way that you are not allowing my daughter to be in a wedding. Like, it's messed up, man. Y'all give me some advice, opinions, or whatever, because I just feel like this is just so messed up, man. Okay, so let me know what you guys think about that, okay? The attack of the baby mom, okay, the revenge of the baby mom, seems like she has some unresolved, um, I guess, feelings towards him. I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, she's basically saying you're not about to spend $200,000 on this wedding. Meanwhile, we had our little thing going on and you were taking me to Burger King <laughs> Whopper Tuesday or Whopper Wednesday. Nah, we ain't having that, <laughs> right? She's basically trying to block um, any happiness, I guess, from what he's, I guess, trying to have on the big day of his wedding. OK, she's basically trying to throw a wrench in that equation and um this scenario is just crazy man it, it's it's just a whole mess but i want to play a clip from a woman that actually um had a wedding at a courthouse and she kind of made it cool welcome to part two of how we made our courthouse wedding fabulous and special we decided to go with a theme of something blue because every wedding and bride needs something blue and so we asked them to all wear navy because we wanted the guests to be our something blue and so with that i was able to find these really cute inexpensive corsages and boutonnieres for each guest um, the only people that weren't wearing navy were the parents and so we gave them um, pretty much the same things but in colors that were suited for them and so these were the guest bags that everyone received and all of the courthouse attendees got one inside of each one was a handkerchief for their happy tears as well as an i do crew glass that i got from the dollar tree and all of the men received cigars there was one special lady who loved cigars and so she got one as well everyone also received their corsage or boutonniere in their bag and these were so cheap they only were like three dollars per set from she in the, the corsages and the boutonnieres everyone also received a blue lighter because we did have a sparkler exit and these cute uh, mint labels for the tic tacs Here's the uh, sparklers at use. We also had some blue bubble guns for the little guy. Speaking of one, here are the newspapers that we also have. And I created these in Canva. Inside, you'll find the word search. We have some cute pictures with some of our people. And then on the back was a fun crossword puzzle. This everyone in their gold for the parents and the Navy. The judge said that we were one of the best looking groups. Actually, he said we were the best looking group that he's ever married. Uh, I got these hairpins for two oh seven, as well as my jewelry set for two dollars and fifty cent. Here you can see the jewelry up close, and here's the far out shot of like the hairpins and um, the necklace and jewelry up close. My bouquet was $23 and I actually bought three of them because I gifted two away. And so here you can see those shots. We have my husband's boutonniere, my husband's boutonniere, $2.07 from, again, all of this stuff came from Shein. I'm breaking it down store by store. Oh, he's so fat. And these were sold as sets. Um, They were $3.90 
for each set. I got probably about 18. There's my little guy. And then you can see Big Sister quickly in action um, with hers. Uh, the parents were gold. And so the boutonniere was $2.50 for um, that boutonniere. And then the corsages were $2.07. And you can see that up close. Up next, we got the clear bags. I got a size medium. They were $6.80 for 10 and the rose petals were a dollar and four cent for a hundred pieces and so these are the bags we also got this beautiful sign for two dollars and thirty cent this is just part one our grand total came to 150 dollars from shein all right guys so there you have it okay so again you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money in order to have a good wedding okay i think the primary thing of the wedding is to say i do have the vows have a couple people there and not necessarily have the theatrics behind it. Now, I do understand that some people, I guess, like the theatrics. But, you know, I would say that choosing a partner is probably going to be one of the greatest financial decisions that you ever make um, besides buying a house because their habits, interests, how they are with money, consumer debt, credit card, things of that nature, that is going to impact the relationship, the marriage for years or months or weeks to come. It really is because once you kind of uh, marry somebody, you're, you're kind of assuming those things into the marriage. Okay. You want to deal with somebody that is good with money. Um, they're not going to be out here willy nilly spending money a whole bunch of money they understand the concept of a dollar they understand the mission statement and where you're trying to go okay the things that you're trying to work towards the steps that you're trying to build and and lead up to in order to get to that goal okay if you're dealing with somebody that's financially irresponsible they don't understand the concept of money so on and so forth that is going to be a strain on the marriage it really is. But, you know, I wish them all the best. Okay, hopefully it works out for them. Let me know what you guys think. Provide me some feedback. And until next time.